Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Trimco number 4876. This is a uh, surface bolt. This is what we would call a modern style surface bolt. This is specifically the 6 inch version. Several different lengths, of course, of this are available. And what you're seeing this in is the polished brass finish. We would call it 605, and that would mean two things. It would mean, first of all, that it was made of solid brass, and that it has a polished finish with a lacquer coating over it. Uh, the camera does no justice to Trimco's hardware. Their fit and finish is always exceptional, and I'm always hesitant to even remove it from the package. Um, you know, just it, it almost smells like the polishing compound that is used. It does actually, as a matter of fact, smell exactly like that. You can tell that this is manufactured by people and in an environment where the end net result is something that is very uh, important to them. So this is the modern style service bolt. You're going to see this installed in, uh, well, uh, residential applications as a service bolt for an inactive door. Someone might have it as an auxiliary piece of locking hardware. I've seen this installed on Dutch doors uh, where they're just going to lock the top leaf of the Dutch door to the lower leaf or even as a uh, bolt for a wicket door which is a little bit less common but you'll see it there as well. There is a uh, required option at least at this time that you select the finish your brass and your chrome in both bright or polished and satin or dull and then oil rubbed bronze as well is the fifth option. There is a link below this video to what we call the cut sheet. And the cut sheet shows not only this item in the 6 inch, but in the table at the very bottom shows you all of the different part numbers for the different lengths, which changes the A dimension. Pretty much all other dimensions are, well, those change as well because of the length, or I should say the projection. So keep that in mind. On the 6 inch version, you're going to have 1 inch projection. Let me give you. Uh, really no dimension is there are no dimensions left untouched by that template so you can see the width of this is 11 16 this being a six inch length is going to be an overall six inch length and then of course your knob total of five eighths very nice and attractive piece of hardware um, with this is all our will also be two strikes those strikes are also dimensionally uh, listed in that cut sheet so I won't beleaguer those points here but this is what I'd call the rim strike. You can just see if I hold it right that it's got such an elegant polished brass finish. And then of course it has what is considered a mortise uh, strike. They call this a universal strike and that's sure that's appropriate to call it this. I'd also call it a rim strike. So the universal strike can be used really anywhere. If you have a door that you're mounting the bolt on the push side, uh, no pardon me, the pull side, you could mortise this to the header and it would project off the face and then of course your bolt would go like that. If you were uh, pull side mount or um, possibly uh, another way to install it in that situation would be uh, as a, uh, a window and you were going to uh, attach one strike to the other side would be an application for this as well. Then there's the mortise catch or strike and this is going to be simply typically mortised, although it's so thin I generally see these surface mounted. That material thickness is probably 30 thousandths. So you would install that uh, like if you were installing this on the push side and you would mortise this up into the header or in that Dutch door scenario you'd mortise this down into the shelf depending on the configuration. But the point of the matter is these two strikes will handle really all the conditions that I can think of that you're going to get involved in. Screws naturally are included in a complementary finish. Those are not brass, and that's not a bad thing because brass is a very soft material and unless you are expecting the screw to be made of brass, it's very easy to strip that out or even to break the screw. So those screws are typically uh, steel based uh, in a complementary finish. Uh, the name Trimco is synonymous with all things trim and auxiliary hardware related and you might be able to tell I'm partial to Trimco and quite frankly I wish I had more opportunity to review their material because always, all the time, without exception, the fit and finish is, is excellent. Their lead times are generally on the long side, but the reality of that is that their material is always well worth waiting for. 
If you have any questions on the Trimco 4876 Surface Bolt or any other Trimco item of where you can uh, link to their full line catalog from below this video to the manufacturer's page and pull up that catalog, you'll be able to familiarize yourself with their entire offering. Any questions on this or any other Trimco item, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.